Hello friends, once again welcome to Diksha Mission Jara. This is the 44th day of Diksha Mission Jara. In the past 43 days, we were discussing different topics from our NTN and Paper 1 syllabus. Along that, we have also discussed questions from past examinations. We have given priority for discussing questions from 2009 December examination. As of now, we have discussed almost all the questions from 2019 December examination. At the same time, we have also released all 10 shifts of 2019 December examination paper one question paper in the form of YouTube videos. If you want to receive any of those videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Diksha Classroom and you can go to the playlist and you want to you can select whichever video you want to see. Okay, so I hope all of your preparation is going well. Um, as per the latest news, there may be a change in the examination date. Most probably it's postponed from June 15. The new date is yet to be declared. But remember, there may be extension of examination date, but it may not go long, long. Okay, so you should be continue your preparation mode. You should be strongly determined and strongly doing your work. Make sure you complete almost all the topics of our paper one syllabus along with that try to do all previous question papers if you would like to do all the previous question papers 57 previous question papers from 2004 december to 2019 december all the time shift with explanation diksha has a special online course for that diksha previous question paper course details is available in the youtube description also you can visit www.dikshaclassroom.com for more details you can go to the different courses that means all the 57 question papers you can attend all the 57 question papers in exact nta net pattern every questions are available with explanation you will get your detail analytics your topic based analytics like in which topic you are strong whether it's te teaching aptitude research aptitude communication people development and environment what would the topic is also you have the comparison with the topper you have the comparison like number of students attended rank then you have the concept like uh, time taken percentage of marks extra all details and the chance to attend all 57 previous question papers you can visit our website also don't forget to do your task number 44 the next also don't forget to do your task number 44 the next set of questions is already the link is available in the YouTube description. The answer key for yesterday's question paper is also available in the YouTube description. Okay, so that's it. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you visit our website, and if possible, attend our daily practice Instagram course. The three weekly winners will get free mock test series, and the monthly three monthly winners will get complete online paper one course worth rupees five thousand. Okay, you will get the details regarding all the course in the website and if you want to get the question papers and the materials and, and the most of video links directly to your whatsapp for free you can join our paper one whatsapp broadcast by sending join to 9847478690 and you can also join different paper two subject broadcasts like that of economics commerce psychology social work extra by sending join to respective number the number the link every details is available in the youtube description so in this video we are going to discuss the next set of previous questions from 2019 december so today we'll be discussing ict or information and communication technology question from 2019 december 5th afternoon shift examination so friends let's go to the questions in this video we are discussing 5th december 2019 afternoon shift question papers and we will be discussing question from information communication technology or ICT so we have the first question select the option that contains only computer input devices so you want to select the option which gives lists of input devices option A is keyboard mouse joystick and printer option B is mouse monitor joystick and keyboard and option option C is joystick keyboard digitizer and monitor and you have the option D as joystick keyboard mouse and digitizer so please try to read and try to give me the answer ok 
okay so it's an easy question it's regarding the concept of input and output devices okay so that's it i hope you got the answer we'll be discussing the question so the question is regarding which among the following are input devices and i hope you know the differences between input devices and output devices input devices are those part of computer hardware equipment used to provide data and control signals to the information processing system so input devices are those devices which are used to provide information to the computer itself so considering the option we have option d that is joystick keyboard mouse and digitizer as the examples for input devices so input devices are those devices which are used to give information to the computer and output devices are those devices through which computer displays its information or gives us the information so for this particular question you have option d as the correct answer moving to second question which of the following statements are correct Okay, so we have three option option one google's web browser is called chrome and option two apple's web browser is called safari and option three mozilla firefox is an open source web browsing software It's an easy question regarding web browsers, regarding the Chrome, Safari, and Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so it's also an easy one. Um, the different statements are about different web browsers and google chrome is a freeware web browser provided by google so, so option one is correct at the same time safari is a graphical web browser developed by apple based on the webkit engine so you have option two is also correct and option three is also correct mozilla firefox or simply firefox is a free and open source web browser developed by mozilla foundation and mozilla corporation so you have option one option two and option three is correct that is option one google's web browser is called chrome is correct option two apple's web browser is called safari is correct and option three mozilla firefox is an open source web browsing software so you have one two and three as the correct answer so option d is the correct answer for this second question of ict moving to next question which of the following statement is or are correct it is usually faster to access data stored in RAM than that in hard drive. The hexadecimal number 99 is same as a decimal number 99. Okay, so try to read the statement multiple times and try to give me the answer. So it's regarding first question is regarding RAM and the second question is regarding decimal system, number decimal system. okay so now we will be discussing and the first statement it is usually faster to access data stored in ram than the hard drive is a correct statement okay it's a correct statement because i hope you will be knowing that the data stored in ram can be accessed almost instantly regardless of where in memory it is stored so it's very fast uh definitely ram is a faster path than the hard drive to the computer cpu so you have option oh, yes correct or option one is correct and the second statement the hexadecimal number and the decimal number 99 are same it's wrong it's a wrong statement different decimal number system binary number system hexadecimal normal decimal octagonal extra extra all are different types of 
okay number system so only one is correct you have option a as a correct for this particular question that is it is usually faster to access data stored in ram than that in hard drive moving to next question fourth question question is with regard to digi locker which of the following statements are correct first option is it is a digital locker system offered by the government under digital india program and option two it provides financial and technical assistance to young startup entrepreneurs option three it allows users to access their e-documents irrespective of physical location so you have first one it is a digital locker system offered by the government under digital india program and secondly you have it provides financial and technical assistance to young startup entrepreneurs then it allows users to access their e-documents irrespective of physical location okay so give me the answer it's an easy question digi locker i hope you would have heard regarding that there is application also available in android and other platforms okay so you have the first one it's a digital locker system offered it's a correct one i hope you know details regarding digi locker digi locker is an online service provided by the ministry of electronic and it under the digital india initiative and it provides an account on a cloud to every indian citizen to access authentic documents such as driving license vehicle registration academic mark list in digital format from the original issuers of this certificate and so option a is correct and option two it provides financial and technical assistance it has nothing to do with providing financial or technical assistance to business then it allows users to access the e-documents irrespective of physical that's also correct it provides a platform for uh, the e-format of different certificates and documents so we have one and three correct so we have option b as a correct to this particular question option b is a correct one for this particular question moving to last question it's all about math the following in the list one you have swayam spoken tutorial e grandalaya and e yandra in list two you have integrated library management software robotics competition promotes it literacy through open source software personalized and adaptive learning So give me the answer by the following. Okay, so we'll try to do the question. You have to list the terms given in set one to set two. So we'll try to answer the question. So first of all, you would you should know something regarding swayam spoken tutorial e grandalaya and e andra so i hope you know swayam is a program by the government of india and it is designed to achieve the three cardinal principles of education that is access equity and quality and the objective of is to take best teaching learning resources to all including the most disadvantaged it's a personalized and adaptive learning important swayam is a personalized and adaptive learning so for a you have the option for for yeah, you have the option for then next you have the spoken tutorial spoken tutorial deals with promoting it literacy through open source software from the list so spoken tutorial is a multi award winning educational content portal okay so you have it promotes or, or spoken tutorial promotes it literacy through open source software you have bs3 then you have e grandalaya e grandalaya is a digital platform developed by the nic or national informatics center and it aims at 
government library for automation of in-house activities and network resourcing and sharing okay with regards to library aspect so you have igrandalaya's integrated library management software so you have cs1 and finally you have the eendra i hope you have heard about eendra eendra deals with promoting robotics in education okay eendra is all about promoting robotics in education especially in the engineering field also to conduct different robotics competition so you have eendra as a competition so you have ds2 so you have a as for bs3 cs1 and ds2 so option d is a correct answer for this particular question so that's all about this set of questions from information communication technology so friends that's all about this video discussing ict questions from 2019 december 5th afternoon shift i hope you're clear with almost all the questions that we have discussed already if you have any doubts regarding any of the questions do let us know we'll try to resolve those issues and we'll be doing more videos on different ict topics as well as questions from different topics in the coming days make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel diksha classroom you share with your friends and also visit our website once again www.dikshaclassroom.com so that's all about this video see you tomorrow same time thank you Thank <laughs> you.